Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Ghost Banks. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. As banks and credit cards and even pawn shops are all cutting back, getting more expensive and reluctant to deal with customers, then something really interesting is happening. It's one created by the greed of existing financial institutions and their reluctance to continue helping people in a reasonable and cost-effective way. This is what we suspect may be causing the creation of what people are now calling ghost banks. What is a ghost bank? That's where a group of criminals in your area will start issuing loans to ordinary people. The loans will have reasonable interest rates and terms. You don't have to fill out a bunch of forms. You don't have to let them run your credit report. They're not going to break your arms if you don't pay them back. But they will put a lien on your house or your car and take that if you don't pay them back. Who is doing all of this? Who is running these ghost banks? These very secretive and uh, difficult to track ghost banks. Well, typically they're run by criminals or cartels that want to launder drug money or make even more profit off their current drug proceeds. Some of them will even loan you money so that you can purchase more of their drugs with the money they just loaned you. So are these ghost banks a good thing or a bad thing? Well, if you live in poverty and you're desperately in need of money, then they may loan you the money that you need when nobody else will. If you have a financial emergency and absolutely no money uh, to feed your family, then these, these loans may help you. What else are these financial loans and ghost banks doing? We're hearing some rumors that they may also be getting involved in funding small businesses, but only if the business is going to be opened in the neighborhood. The next question is, how can secretive ghost banks like these exist without the government stepping in and trying to regulate them? Well, that's an interesting situation because these ghost banks supposedly don't have any buildings or websites or infrastructure or even a paper trail or licenses of any sort. So how do they operate? We suspect that ghost banks operate like a hawala. They operate outside of the traditional banking system. In the US and the Middle East, Hawalas operate through a large network of informal money brokers. And those brokers never actually send money back and forth. They just register and trade debt to one another, and the debts just serve as a way to transfer the money to the intended destinations and recipients. It's a system based largely on honor and tradition, and it's much lower in cost than the regular banking system. The rumors we hear are that the ghost banks are operating on a similar system. No computers, no paper records, uh, and everything is informal and designed to make it more difficult for the government to track or intervene them. Are most ghost banks uh, a safe way to borrow money? Who knows? We've never seen one, and from what rumors we've heard, we're not even sure they exist. But if they do exist, then this would be a very interesting phenomena because it would just prove that the conventional banking system is not working for a lot of people out there. And it's not serving the needs of the poor, that's for sure. With that, I want to uh, thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.